Hey, real estate investors. Hope you're doing well this morning. I'm walking some property today. Uh, we found this unbelievable location. Always, it's always over 30 or 40 years. Achieved premium prices, maximum dollars, best occupancies. And I'm not talking about the Beverly Hills Hotel that I'm leaving from. Okay, I'm talking about a property in Houston, Texas that we're closing on. I'm in Beverly Hills today. I don't actually shop property here anymore except for comparisons of other markets to see where other markets can go. They got so many problems in California with water, regulations, taxes, rent control, traffic issues, earthquake insurance, just um, so many issues that uh, I avoid the space completely and I don't want to pay taxes in the state of California. So, see what I do is I go shop these properties okay, to see what can happen in the future in the markets that I'm in, like Houston or across Florida where we have 5,000 apartments. Look, if you're in the real estate game and you're trying to find property, you want to look for these streets and crossways where there's high traffic, lots of great jobs, lots of money, and a disparity between the rent and ownership. See these homes across the street? Uh, five, six million dollars each. The rent, the rent in this market can easily be $3,000 if there's no rent control. So that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a big disparity between ownership and renting. Even regardless of the fact that you're like, oh, rents are already too high, they can't go any higher. Trust me, they will go higher. They have to go higher. You have fewer and fewer people in America that can actually buy a home. And surprisingly enough, after the last crash in 2008, you have fewer people that even want to buy a home. People want mobility now. And they're willing to use rent dollars to have it. Because today, whether you live in Houston, Dallas, Seattle, Vancouver, where there's almost no stock, no inventory, you can still rent for less than you can own. And you have the mobility to move around. Even in situations where the rent could be more than ownership, the down payment, the commitment to 30 years, uh, 75 million millennials that don't know where they're going, where their job's going to be, much more likely to rent than buy not to mention credit issues down payment issues and then you got 80 million baby boomers they've already owned two or three homes they're like dude i'm good i'm good i've already owned the i've done the home thing the home thing's not that big a deal but check out some of these houses look at this neighborhood look at these big wide streets you know what i always say big trees big money so look if you're not paying attention to the real estate game but you want to do it you're gonna get burnt. You're gonna lose money, okay? It's not gonna be anybody's fault but yours. You need to do a tremendous amount of due diligence. You gotta actually walk, walk properties, look at properties, shop properties. You cannot just read a book or go to a seminar and think that this thing's gonna happen. Look at this iconic. See, that's the other thing you're looking for, iconic locations. Locations that everybody knows about. People talk about, they put it on postcards, they take pictures of it. Those are the kind of spots that you want to invest around. And by the way, you're better off paying more money. You're better off paying the top of the market. You're better off being the comp. One of the things I try to do is I try to be the comp, actually. You guys are trying to get the best price. I'm trying to be the comp. I'm trying to set the market. And by doing that, what happens is you become the, the king, the king of that space. So look, this real estate game, you got to be very, very careful. A word I don't often use, shop a lot of product, make offers on a lot of product. You got to get everybody to know who you are in that market, okay? And then when you go, when you finally get a deal on the contract, after you do a lot of due diligence, a lot of patience, then when you finally pull the trigger, you got to move fast. That means you have to have your debt, your financing in place, your down payment in place. You have to have your legal in place. There's a lot of work. Okay, so if you like the, 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 the game, and you're not doing the work, maybe you don't have the 
energy or resources to do, do all the work. If you're a qualified investor and you like the idea of cash flow, positive cash flow from day one, if you like the idea of long-term capital appreciation, if you're in a position to wait, patiently wait for as long as it takes for us to double, triple, or quadruple your money, because sooner or later it's gonna happen in, in a market. I could have bought at the top of 2007, and I'd still be making money today. And by the way, if it cash flowed, I wouldn't have lost anything. The value would have gone down for some period of time because of the contraction in the marketplace, but I would have collected my rents. And then when I finally get my balance, okay? We're talking apartments here. We're talking apartments. We're not talking about those single family homes. People might just be getting even right now from 2007, 2008. Okay, I hope this finds you well. Love to have you as an investor. If you're qualified, if you're patient, if you understand what I'm talking about in this video, okay? Uh, and, and you want to partner with somebody that knows what they're doing. 30 years I've been doing this. I've looked at hundreds of thousands of apartments, okay? So we have the debt in place. We have the infrastructure in place. We have the people in place. If you have the patience, if you have the money, if you're qualified, I'd love to have you involved with us. CardoneCapital.com, CardoneCapital.com. I'm flying back to Florida. I'm going to stop in Houston. We're going to close some big deals, okay? Love to have you on board.